Now we have with us Honorable Diri Duye, who is the Chairman House Committee on Downstream no. and Upstream. I beg your pardon. Would you kindly just give us the correct... Cha Chairman Nigeria-Spain Relations. Nigeria-Spain Relations. Relations and huh? Member Committee on Gas. Oh, wonderful. I'm so sorry about the mix-up yeah. there. Then, well, you're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Thank you. Just very quickly then, tell us about this amendment, uh, you know, that's been made to the Nigeria Liquefied Natural uh, Gas Company. We hear that there's an amendment being made in such a way that they're going to be uh, made to remit 3% of their annual budget to the NDDC. What's that about? Well, uh, thank you, Malkwe. Uh, like you said, um, Diri Doye, I represent Yenegoa, Kolokuma, Opokuma, Federal Constituency of Bios Estate. And uh, being a member of the Gas Committee, I'm aware of the amendment. It's an amendment on the Nigerian Liquefied Natural Gas, NLNG Act, amending Section 7 to add a new subsection A and B so that it will be in tandem with the NDDC Act. Section 14, and it provides that all oil producing, oil and gas producing and processing companies are to pay 3% of their total annual income budget to NDDC. And this has not been the case with the NLNG. The NLNG came into being about 1990, and they had a pioneer tax holiday for 10 years and from 1990 to now your guess is as good as mine it's about 27 years and so even after that they are not being keyed in into the act establishing the NDDC every other company is complying the NLG is yet to comply because we have not been able to do that amendment. And the amendment that has been so proposed that is now going on in the House of Reps is to correct that anomaly. So, I mean, because there have been reactions and the people have been a little concerned. They believe that this is going to affect, uh, you know, the, the thinking of foreign investors into this. You say that the amendment is about oil and gas companies. Did the, um, did the act specifically say oil and gas companies, or did it just say oil companies? Let me read it out to you mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, we will all be convinced. We will all be convinced of what we are doing. And, Mark, you hear there are three things involved. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Section 4, Subsection 1 to 4 gives the authority of lawmaking an amendment to the National Assembly, exclusive and legislative lists. Then the second thing involved there is the NDDC Act. Then the third one is the NLNG Act. And so let me read the NDDC Act for you so that you will be rest assured. In the NDDC Act, Section 14, subsection 2a and b specifically b let me read it out three percent of the total annual budget of any oil producing company operating onshore and offshore in the niger delta area including gas processing companies including gas processing companies. So it follows that the NLNG is a gas processing company. So why do you have to amend the NLNG Act then, you know, for it to comply with what the NDDC Act already stipulates? Of course, the NLNG Act is different from the NDDC Act. Agreed. And so you also have to amend it to include them, to be part of. Because the argument has been... I've been reading from different uh, tabloids about the fact that uh, they are a private company and they are not expected to do A, B, C, D and all that. But again, we're also aware that the NLNG is not wholly a privately owned company. 
The federal government of Nigeria owns about 40 something percent, uh, closely, very close to about 40, about 50 percent shares in the NLNG. And so there is no way that company will totally be a private uh, company. And you see, for even better relations with where you are domiciled, where you are working, it follows that uh, if you do this, somehow you will also show corporate responsibility. You are also contributing to the development of uh, the area from where you are operating. Just wondering, is, is this the amendment to the act or was this act, was this um, line present before the amendment, the line you just read out? This is the NDDC act I just read out. Yes. And then the amendment well, well, we... Was act, it amended as well? No, 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 no. no. This is the, amend, uh, the NDDC act from, 2000, from year 2000. Mm -hmm. And what we are proposing here is an amendment to the NLNG Act. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that amendment is, let me read it out again for you, is a bill for an act to amend the NLNG Fiscal Incentives, Guarantees and Assurances Act, Cap 87, 2004, to empower the NLNG Limited to make its statutory contributions to the NDDC Fund and for other matters connected therewith. So, if you look at it, we are looking at seven. We are adding seven A and B. And seven A is exemption from customs duties. NLNG has enjoyed tax holiday, like I said, for 10 years. It means that as a pioneer company, they were given some incentives so that they can be well established, so that we can attract them to come in. So they have not been paying some taxes, some import duties. And those 10 years have long elapsed. And we're not talking about 27 years. And so we are saying that most of those things that they were enjoying for 10 years, which is now about 27, we need to go into the act. There are several others. And now, you know, Nigeria is in recession. And we even need uh, more of those uh, uh, taxes and the import duties and all of them to, to take us out of recession. But they're arguing that, you know, with this... Is it a delayed amendment now, this amendment that you will most likely be chasing uh, investors away from this particular sector? You don't see that happening? I, I, I don't think that is because true. Because you, you just argued that, you know, the I, I NLNG, don't think that is, true. The NLNG is a pioneer company. So yeah. far, so good. We haven't heard that uh, many other companies have tried to come and do business in Nigeria after the NLNG came. And even though it's been successful, we've not quite seen that happen. Of course, you can also be sure of empire building because when you give tax holiday for 10 years and after 10 years, those holidays are continuing. They have been paying C their taxes. Haven't certainly, they? certainly, certainly, certainly competition from any other person will be stifled. You say that the, the, the holiday has been The continuing. tax holiday is continuing the because, NLNG okay, take, for, in taxes, take for instance the NLG, the, the, the NDDC Act. Take, for instance, the NDDC Act. And let me read this for you. This is a daily trust of Tuesday, May 16. And the writer said that international institutions such as the World Bank and the IMF and others are increasingly becoming worried and warning against excessive and unnecessary tax incentives. Wasteful give away. And they went on to say that the NLG is a joint venture between NNPC, Shell, Total, and ENI to exploit Nigeria's huge reserves of gas. It is Nigeria's major company in the liquefied gas sector, and the NLG has since, has since been enjoying tax breaks. It was granted. You understand? So it means that from then on, it has been enjoying tax break. And the writer went on to say that Action Aids last month released a report and found from its investigations that Nigeria lost around 3.3 billion as a result of the extraordinary 10-year generous tax breaks 
it granted to the NLNG. But it was, it was agreed. I mean, the 10 year tax break that we granted was agreed. Now, what we are saying is that that is over. The, and it's the, the even tax beyond. Break, the tax break was long over. What you're asking for right now is extra to, the, a, end, no, 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 is no. The, is to the end of this year. Because we recall that last year, when Nigeria went into a recession and was looking for funds, yeah. it was a singular tax paid by the NLNG that came to our rescue. True or false? <laughs> well, what we are saying is that the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria can only be amended by the National Assembly. And where you have the NDDC Act, which clearly states that gas processing companies should contribute 3% to the NDDC fund, and that is not implemented by the NLNG, it's wrong. 